tie. Bam, bam. To Ivasa, ladies and gentlemen. He is set to face Derek the Black Beast Lewis. Looks like my opponent is actually gonna go with Derek with Derek Lewis. Yeah, let's let's get it. Oh, let's get it, sir. This is good. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I like when I uh, try to do a fighter showcase and my opponent picks the character that the uh, fighter I'm, I'm using is actually going to be facing. I find those very, very fun because then it's like it's almost like we get to watch the fight play out before the fight actually plays out. There's a lot of interest. I mean, these two guys have said clearly that they are going to go out there and they're going to put it all on the line and they're going to bang it out. No homo or full homo, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> all I know is they are going to go out there and they're going to give it their all. They say no grappling, no taking a step back. So let's get it. Let's do it. I am going to adopt the spirit of this fight right now. And I am going to go at it with the Black Beast. Now, do, who do I think has the power advantage? Of course, Derek Lewis has the power advantage. Come on. Who are we kidding? Aha. We good. Derek Lewis has the power advantage, I think, if, if it gets down to it. If he hits tied to Ivasa clean, that man is getting absolutely blasted into another orbit. But we've also seen Derek Lewis get stopped in the past. I mean, Junior Dos Santos smacked him, sat him down and finished him. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that he could get finished by, by strikes. We've seen that happen before. Yo, he doesn't have that combo? Dude, tied to Ivasa sucks. What the fuck? Like, I didn't want to start complaining about how slow he moves, but dude, he doesn't even have the, mo the most basic combinations in this game. That jab, lead hook, cross, he doesn't have the combo. Like, what the freak? The French toast? Yo. It's getting kind of chaotic in here. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm starting to lose this. I'm starting to lose this. I'm not able to extend my combos just because. Got him. Some of the combos that I want to throw, Tai Tuivasa doesn't have them. So I'm going to have to maybe rely too much on my 1 2 now. Because at least I know that 1 2 is quick. I could maybe catch him coming in and spike vulnerability. Maybe we could do that. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's the one two. The one two is the shot. I have to try to land it on him as he's entering the pocket. Oh my god, there is the Derek Lewis. And he does it a second time. That is classic Derek Lewis. Trying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured. I figured that will that will be the. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. But yeah, I figured that was gonna be the the combination because I was trying to land a few of the combos, like the jab, lead hook, cross. There are a few of the combos that I'm trying to see if I can uh, queue up, but then the inputs keep dropping, which tells me that he doesn't have the combo. It's either he doesn't have the combination or, uh, I don't know, maybe something about the the strike animations don't flow properly. Like, I know there are some animations in the game that don't really flow too well with each other. So, like, the fighter would actually have the combo, but because of the strike animations that he was assigned, the combo uh, doesn't flow as well when you try to queue it up. So, it could be that, but I don't, I don't think so. I just, I don't think he has it. Uh-huh. We're gonna have to just hit him with this with this one two over and over again and just see if we can sit him down. 
Oh. Oh. He Derek Lu oh Derek Lewis has turned into a wrestler, folks. He's a wrestler now. Oh, he shoots again. This time a single leg. Rocked again. Oh, he's rocked again. Can't wait for this boy to get rocked again. Another one. That's it. Ah, uh, no. Let's see. Side control. Nice knee cut. Pull the arm. Come here. Roll him back into side control. He bridges, brings the knee in. Look at Derek Lewis doing jujitsu. It would be so nice if, like, some of these guys had different animations from the ground. You know what I mean? Like, if the fighter type comes with specific types of, like, get-ups. Like, someone like Derek Lewis is not bridging, bringing the knee back in. Like, you see, you know, he's, he's not doing jujitsu, you know? Even though Derek Lewis doesn't just actually get back up, like, he does do a few things that you could say is jujitsu, but, like, he doesn't do technical jujitsu. You know what I mean? But it would probably be too much to ask EA to spend the extra resources making these fighters more, more different from each other. It might end up being too much to ask. Who knows? Like, look at him. Look at him. Look at, look at, look at him trying to... Look at him arm dragging. You're never going to see Derek Lewis arm drag and take the back. You know what I mean? Look at Derek Lewis. Like, you're never going to see this. Derek Lewis arm drag somebody from full guard and takes his back. I would rather prefer more realistic animations to fit the characters. I sit him down again. That one, too, is going to be there all day long, sir, so unfortunately. Oh my god, a jab knocks him dead. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was a good fight, man. That was a very good fight. Very good match. Really enjoyable. Really good match. Very enjoyable. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, if I had to guess, if I had to pick a winner in this one, I would definitely go with Derek Lewis. I just... I just... I think his power is going to... I think his power is going to get it done. That's what I think. Let's move on. Next fight is against Alexander Gustafsson. I'm ready. Gus can be a difficult one to face, man, but it, it just it depends on the, the player. It depends on who's using him and how aggressive they are. But the one thing I can't let happen, especially while using someone like Tai Tuivasa, who's very slow, very sluggish, doesn't have a lot of boxing combos under him. Uh, last thing you want to do is let your opponent lead the dance. With, when you're using someone like Tai Tuivasa, it's better to be the one leading the dance. Because if you're leading the dance, you get to decide the pace of the fight. Just in general, man. One of the principles. By the way, I am writing an ebook. Oh yes, I am writing an ebook on uh, well, how I got good at the game, how you could get good at the game. But it's not like, and I'll tell you guys why I'm doing this as I play this match. Um, all right, so this man is currently circling and being weird. Just keep it going like this. So, um. I've been watching a John Danahar um, instructional on the guard because I've been I've been studying the guard in jiu-jitsu a lot, and his instructional uh, guard retention, go further guard retention, uh, it's a very good one. It's very very good, and just the the way John teaches in general teaches jiu-jitsu is he focuses a lot on principles, and I'm somebody that really likes principles because principles. They don't change. Like gravity, for example, it's a principle. Whatever goes up comes down. That is, unless you start going to like other planets or whatever. But in general, it doesn't change. Um, one plus one is always going to be two. If you bring one object and you bring a second object and you put them together, now you have two objects. Um, 
that's what I mean by principle. There are few principles that um that don't change in terms of guard retention. And uh his philosophy is, which is correct, there are multitude of different ways an opponent can try to pass your guard. If he spends time trying to teach you every single possible guard pass they could use, there are thousands of them, truly. It will be impossible to memorize every single defense to every single possible combination of guard pass your opponent can use. So what he does is he gives you some some lifelong principles that can be applied to every single guard pass every single guard pass like understanding for, for example that for your opponent to pass your guard they need to be able to control your head that's a principle all right a guard pass is not possible unless the opponent is able to control your head and get chest to chest even if they get by your legs they haven't actually passed your guard they got to control your head so if you can keep them from controlling your head you can make guard pass extremely difficult for them so th that's just an example as this man is rocked um and so watching the instructional and just looking at the way he's teaching kind of makes me understand that that's 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 kind of how i've been I, I look at ufc4 and just the games in general like there are a few principles that if you follow you're gonna get good at the game. I'm not saying, oh boy. By the way, you guys are noticing the leg work I'm doing here, right? See, this Gus is making it very easy for me to fight him because he's backing up the whole time. He's not really pressuring me too much. So he's making he's making this fight fairly easy for me. But um a few principles that if you follow, like you're gonna get good at the game. Like, I'm not saying you're going to end up becoming freaking world class. But, at least you're, you are definitely going to get good. You are definitely going to get good at the game. And so, the ebook e that I'm writing is going to focus on a few key principles for you guys to keep in mind. And if you can keep these principles in mind, you're going to notice a huge tick in your ability to play this game, UFC 5, whatever other game that's going to come after that, I believe... These principles will will uh will carry will carry through. One of them is stamina is king. Uh, and I know a second one, the second one I think that the block will eventually fail you. We, and we break, I break all these these down for you guys so you understand exactly what I mean. Uh, another principle is going first is better. It's always better to go first because I sit in, I mean, what I'm doing right now, I'm demonstrating it. Another prince. Oh, he's done. What the hell? That is completely unexpected. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go, uh, as we start the next fight, I'm going to go find where I wrote these principles down and just give you guys a few of them. I will be right back. All right, boys. Here we go. This is going to be the last fight of the day. Um, I suspect this man uh, will be a little bit better than the last two that we fought. So we'll see. There we go. Right away, he's pressuring me. He's following one of my print, one of the principles, which is going first is better, and there's a reason for that, which again I'm going to explain. Another is predict, not react. Um, and then you must drill. Next one is titled Kazushi. Kazushi means off balance, off balancing. It's a it's a word in judo that judokas use, but it's it's transition to jujitsu as well. And just there are a lot of different ways that you can off balance your opponents in UFC four. We'll, we'll talk about that. And then. Next one is time and beat speed, and then there are a few other ones that I'm that I'm um, I'm gonna write down. But these are just a, a couple, just a few. Stamina is king. The block will eventually fail you. Going first is better. 
Predict, not react. You must drill. Kazushi and timing beats speed. Got him. Right there. Predict, not react. One way you can Kazushi in UFC 4 is with footsies. We'll talk about that. And so, yeah, when I'm done, I'm going to put it out there. And uh, it's going to like it's gonna benefit you guys. And it's also just going to be another way for you to support the channel. It's, it's not going to be crazy in terms of, like, expense. Like, I promise you guys that. It's not going to be nuts. Not, it'll be nothing crazy. Um, and you can pick it up. Pick it up. Support the channel. Read it. Enjoy it. I don't know how long it's going to take me to complete. But I don't think it's going to take too long. So, it's just my favorite method of teaching. Of course, occasionally you will have to break things down. I think, like with the ground game in UFC Four, um, it's kind of hard to uh, like a lot of the principles will apply to the ground game in UFC Four, but um, but the ground game in UFC Four it becomes more specific, like. Like, learning how to grapple in UFC 4 is, like, a lot of it is, like, about learning the game, pretty much. You know what I mean? It's not necessarily, like, a principal thing. It's more what transitions beat what, uh, the time in, stuff like that. There we go. So, like, you guys will notice, in terms of grappling in UFC 4, you're not going to notice a lot of different styles. Like, you might see maybe, f at, at most, three distinct styles of grappling in this game. You've got the, I'm going to grab you in a clinch and try to choke you out. You've got those guys. Um, you've got the ones that, uh, you've got the ones that want to take your back. Like, the whole entire goal is to take your back and choke you out. On the ground, no matter everything they do is designed to get to the back and choke you out. And then... You've got the third style, which is the ground and pound players who they want to get you in sight control, crucifix, or any other dominant position. That's more me. They want to get you in a dominant position. They want to hold you down for long periods of time, and then they want to get you out of there. So every distinct style of grappling in UFC 4, of course, is going to have a different approach to it. Um... So we could we could definitely go over that, but again, it's not many. But when you look at striking, I, I mean, I've seen at this point in the game many, many, many different styles, many different styles. So it will be very difficult for me to like teach anybody how to like counter every single striking style you come across. That's why principles will be the key these principles you can apply them to every single st style that you come across and it will work so that's my pitch that's it oh -ho! come on that's it yeah baby butchered absolutely butchered this was a good match very good match. I think if he started off very well, he started off like pushing, pushing the pace, trying to, trying to, um, trying to uh, set the pace and go first. But then he kind of ignored it. And as soon as I was able to turn the tides on him, we were able to get him out of there. So that will do it. That will do it for Derek the Black, not Derek Lewis, Tai Tuivasa. If you guys enjoyed the fight, go right ahead, leave a like on the video. Definitely helps out the channel. Um, thinking this is going to be another Night Owl video for sure. Going to upload this one later at night. For those of you that are up late, just like I typically am. And hope you guys enjoy it. But that's it. Thank you for watching. It means a lot. I will see you boys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.